It's another morning. It's still the tour in the Volta region. We visited a number of constituencies in the Volta region as part of our community manifesto series. And this morning, we have landed in the Akachi North constituency. Akachi North, are you here? Yeah. Akachi North, are you here? Yeah. If you are here, let me hear you say community manifesto. Yeah. All right. And as usual, we are here for the people. We are going to be listening to the constituents. Education seems to be a problem here, even though the sitting MP is pro-education. He's done so much with education in this constituency because he's a ranking member on the education committee in parliament. And this year also, NPP is bringing in their candidate who has been the DCE in the area. In no time, we'll be knowing who they are. But please, we're just about to start, and as always, I advise that we exercise some good amount of decorum and respect as we start. Akachi North is where we are this morning, specifically Aved Dakba. Aved Dakba, Milia. Yeah. All right, so they've responded, and this constituency was formed by the Electoral Commission in the year 2012. Now, the very first time they voted as an independent constituency, was in 2012 and the winner of the first election here in 2012 was honorable peter kwesi nochikotwe after that he's won the second one he was re-elected and then for the third time again he was re-elected and for 2024 he is seeking to be re-elected again as member of parliament for the Akachi North constituency. But the MPP have served for some time in this area. They are DCE, who is also going against the NDC. He is in the person of Simon Peter Kofiofosu, AKA. All right. All right. It is beautiful. It is beautiful that we have all these people represented in the house this morning. We've got officials from the MPP seated to the left and officials from the NDC seated to the right as well. I'll be passing the microphone on so they give us a brief introduction of who they are, even though we may know some of them already. But we would also listen to the constituents. I know education is a problem in this constituency. Water is also a problem. Road infrastructure is a huge challenge. And youth unemployment, as you can see, a number of the people gathered here this morning, of course, constitutes a larger portion of the youth in this constituency. What is happening with them? What are we doing with them? What kind of jobs do they get even after secondary or tertiary education? We're going to be finding out all of that. But to my left, we will start. Do you have a microphone? Of course, you have a microphone. So please, you tell us who you are, your name, and your position. Please, go on. Good morning. Uh, my name is Goodman Paul Aira. I represent the New Patriotic Party in Akati North Constituency. I am the second vice chairman currently. Thank All you. right, the second vice chairman. Can you pass the microphone on? Yeah, my name is Victor Rabi Mainsan. I represent the New Patriotic Party, and I'm the assistant secretary for the New Patriotic Party. Thank assistant you. secretary. Yeah, Do assistant we get secretary. to meet you too, sir? Yes, please pass the microphone. I'm Godfrey Ruth Kudalo, constituency chairman, representing the incoming minister okay. of education, okay. Honorable Simon Peter. Okay. All right. Okay. Do we have honorable here? Is honorable here? Is honorable here? You are representing honorable. Okay. Just for the record, I wanted to be sure if honorable is here or not. And then on the NDC side, are you officials as well? Are you officials? Okay. So please, let's kindly pass the microphone. And let's start the introduction from the 
let's know who you are, sir. Okay, thank you. Um, my name is Calvin Ofori Autry, and I'm the Deputy Secretary for the NDC. Deputy Secretary. Yes, sir. Let's hear you. Yeah. Uh, my name, my name is Patrick Kwame Ahiabu. Okay. Constituency Communication Officer, right. NDC. All right. Let's get to hear you, sir. Yes, please, go ahead. Please, order. My name is Richard Awuja. I am the constituency chairman for NDC. Hello. Honorable, 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 please sit. Please sit for me. Thank you. Let's do the introduction, sir. I am Peter Notu Koti, MP for a catching off. All right. And there you have it, officials of both parties here for Akachi North, specifically Avet Dakba. Um, we are not only here for MPP, NDC, we are here for everybody. If you belong to any other political party, you're a party leader and you are here, let's know so that we can also acknowledge you. But we'll start proceedings here this morning if you ask the people of Akachi North what they do, most of them are into agriculture. Most of them are also into small-scale businesses and trading. But there are a number of issues here in this constituency. Well, I'll go to Honorable, since he is the member of parliament for the area. I'll go to him first of all and ask him how his constituents are doing in the last four years what have they been up to? How are they faring? What's going on? And then we take it from there. Honorable, thank you so much for having us in your constituency. How are you and how are your people doing? Yes, please. Oh, you want to stand? Um, the way our cameras are positioned, you may have to sit for us. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Yeah, thank you very much. And good morning to the people of uh, Akati North. I want to thank them very much that for over the years, they have consistently voted for me to represent them in parliament. In the first place, I want to thank the people of Akati North that through the hard work of the chiefs and the people, Professor Mills granted us a district assembly. I remember very well that the MPP that are jubilating today in 2012, they wrote against the creation of this district. And, and in that 2012, Hello. Hello. Akachi North. Akachi North. Akachi North. If you are going to gyrate after every second, after every sentence, we will not live here today. So please. Calm down so we can flow. Meet the cuckoo. And bed. very much too. The issue was taken to court by the MPP against the creation of this district in 2016, 2012. But with the justice that was behind us, the court threw the, away the petition. So we had the Akati North District inaugurated in July 2012. And that's what we have now. Yes, with the creation of the Akati North District and the constituency as well, we had a number of challenges having come out of a bigger district. Now, you will realize that one major problem that we have was communication. If I say communication, road network in the first place. So, when President Mahama became president, what he did was to make sure that the road leading from Averakba to Akachi was awarded on contracts. 
Unfortunately, when the road was in progress and the FPP came to power, they abrogated or terminated the contract. So that road, it still remains undone. What happened? What happened again was that they said that the, co the contract was not awarded. But I took it upon myself to ask the minister for Rose to come or appear before parliament. And he confirmed that the contract was awarded. And that if there was money, they would re-award it. Up to today, as we speak, with MPP only three months to leave office, nothing has been done. But as soon as President Mahama comes back in January 2025, work will begin on that road. Okay. All right. All right. Honorable, you were supposed to give your <laughs> opening remarks. But it looks like you have started the campaign already. Uh, we'll, we'll come to that. Okay. We'll come to that. But we just wanted to find out how the people of Akachi were doing, first of all, in your opening remarks. But it looks like you're already on the road with the campaign. So let's get straight to business. Ladies and gentlemen, Amokobe Wahponure Milestambaya. So please come to the microphone. Who's speaking? You're already here? Okay. Young lady, come to the microphone. Can you please adjust it for her so she can start? Um, all right. The young lady wants to start. Good. I think we are ready to go. Young lady, your name, please. Okay, my I go by the name Atieku Jessica Esalali Kochido. All right, Jessica. Yes. Follow me. Okay. And I come up blow, like catching off. Where do you make me toro fill like? Me a you to me la for jibala. Me ji change la drama. Okay. Me a toro zubon wano, o zubon two, o zubon trio, kaka nuka jo. Michi and Dawadia, what about drama? Michi Dawadia, what about drama? Michi said, Okay. 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 All right. Jessica. Yes. I want to ask you. Okay. Have you completed secondary school? Yes, please. You've com completed last year. Okay. Which school did you attend? Javier Fair Senior High School. Is Ho. In Ho. Yes, please. You didn't attend school in no, this constituency. Please. No. Is it that you didn't get your way into the secondary schools here or you don't have enough? So we get our way to the secondary school, but okay. it was a time of what? Nanado. It was Akufado that gave us the privilege okay. to enter the free SHS. Okay. He gave us the privilege to enjoy. Okay. Some of our parents are farmers. Some, they don't have any work to do. Okay. But because of the help of Nana Akufado, okay. we completed SHS. Okay. Which we can go forward. Okay. Yes. Hold on. So, at least through free education, you have completed SHS by the grace of God. Yes, please. What are you doing currently? What do you right do? Right now, I'm not having any job to do right oh, now. Okay. Yes. Okay. So, I want to ask. Okay. Your friends. Okay. Your sisters. Okay. They are the ones who are consistently giving birth. Yes. In the constituency because there are no jobs. Yes. There's no activity whatsoever. Yes. So they are just getting pregnant, giving teenage birth here and there. Here and there. So teenage over. pregnancy is very prevalent in this constituency. Yes, please. Okay. It's very high in our community right now. All right. So we just want a change. We are not against MBB NDC. Okay. All we want is change. Okay. We want the youth to also have something to do for themselves. Okay. That's what we are asking. All right. Jessica, thank you very much. I will come to this side as well. 
Please adjust the microphone for her so she can speak. Please, no, 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 we'll do it, we'll do it. Our technicians are here. Me away, me away. All right, Novi, won't call it. You have to speak up. Yeah. Okay. Please, my name is Vivian Edinam Senako. Madaku Mala Ava Akiade Yiba. Okay. Okay. Iga MPP Laziadia. I know NDC Laziadia. Miapa, Miapo called John Branima, John Branima, Mahama Laziadia. Amoya from. From Akati, you can also speak English. Don't okay. worry at all. Yes. From Avedaka to Akati, Amoya, Heka, Miapa, Miapo, Polazia, Yopaya, Omoa, Oplo Moya Katavai, Ayo got on the Siada set. Yes, John, Yamma, Miao Pova, Dobolazia, MP Pitova Ziazi, Amoya Vazu, and for the Kemo, Natija. Okay. okay, hold on. Let's let's get it well. Which road are you talking about? From this road, from Avedakpa to Akati. From Avedakpa to yes, Akati. To Akati. Hold on. I want to understand you well. When it was NDC that was on, the road was good. Is that what you're saying? No. What are you saying? No. The road is not good. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. People are fear. Let me call fear. To witness, me at the airport. Eh, just here. The road is bad. Yes. Okay. Maybe not here. Yeah, me at the market to me so in Adashi. Yeah. Hello, I'm from now. What to Avega? Hello, that side going to be here. Not the mall of Domanoa. But I feel my clothes go. And how long has it been like that? How long has the road been like that? I love my Gigi. I love my Gigi. Twelve years. Yes. Sixteen years. Eight yes. years. Yes. Four years. Yes. Eight okay. years. Eight years, eight years. Eight years. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah, Okay. 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 So you have also completed SHS. Yes. Where did you go to school? 2016. Where did you go to school? Which secondary school? J. Claudia. Okay. Fit 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 kawale. I like J. Claudia. I like Bojasi Road. Bojasi Road. Yes. Okay. So you've completed SS. Yes. Please. But you are also not working. Yes. You are not doing anything at I'm all. I'm not. I'm doing my own way. What are you doing? Are you trading? No. I'm selling cassava balls. Okay. 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 So now, you are La Mahama Taima. Uh huh. I'm here at 1.8. Now people like the Asko and Yamalakma. I'm here at 600 CD. Okay. Belika, Kasava, Beliaka, 400 CD. My bad, I'm 600 CD. Let me walk up here. I will do. I'm going to be a profit. Madam, I'm going to gain profit. If you're not going to be a profit, gain more. My life, I'm going to be a profit. I'm going to be a Zukoyama, company work the Camelio. Now my dog will free HSA. Now my photo of a fool for a four. All right, I'm a young banana. Now, what do you want to do? No, I want to do a camera. Do you know? Okay, now for young lady, la banana. What do you want? It's about a lot for your business. I'm going to go. I love you. I don't know. If you know why you're going to do it. I understand. We are working to gain profit. Okay. All right. All right. So on both sides, both young ladies have spoken, and it looks like the same problem. By the grace of God, they've been able to complete senior high school. But just like um, Jessica, that's your name, right? And this is Vivian. So both of them are sharing the same sentiments. They are done with SHS, but there are no jobs. Jessica is not doing anything at the moment, but Vivian has a little trade that she plies every day. She sells cassava balls, AKA Agbalikaklo. And she's saying that even the oil, 
that she used to buy some years back or some months back has been increased so high such that even when she carries it on her head, nobody is able to buy because it's expensive. Now, she says that for all the young, vibrant women in this constituency, they, would, they, would, they don't have any jobs to do. You will never find any of them with proper jobs. It's either they are selling agbalika clothes, they are selling liha, and you mentioned something else, or beans. All right. So primarily, that's what all of them do after SHS. So the question they are asking is, what is the way forward? What is the roadmap for the young women and young gentlemen in this constituency? I'll take another one from this side, and I'll come back to this side again. Who wants to speak, please? No, it can't be you. It has to be somebody else. It has to be somebody else. Jessica, Akpe, but one at a time, Sia. Thank you. Yes, sir. Let's get to meet you. Your name, please. Choboy. Kukrudu. My name, my name is... My name is My name is James Agbanolaoja, a teacher. Uh, there is this adage in Latin which says "Isampula bonororo vinororo." Wait. No, 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 wait. What is the adage again? What is it? What did you say? I will explain. I will explain. No, say it. I want to hear it again. Example bonororo vinororo. Okay. It means good examples come from good men. And that is precisely the MPP political party. All right. I want to use this opportunity to tackle on quickly on education. Education is key. And once education is key, it unlocks the door to modernization. Under the leadership of J.A. Kufour, 2001, teacher education standardization, it was in the name of NPP as a political party that they have upgraded teacher education from mere or mere to set A to diploma awarding institution. In that same vein, in that same vein, in that same vein, after the, the leadership of the NDC, MPP came into power again, 2016, to date, under the leadership of His Excellency Nana Dankwa Ekufuado, upgrading teacher education from diploma award institution to degree awarding institution. Gone on the days, gone on the days, it will take you 90 to 21 years to obtain principal superintendent rank in teacher education. But under the leadership of MPP, Nana Adodankwa Ekufado, now teachers have been upgraded from diploma to degree awarding institution. Two minutes more. What do you want to say exactly? which to indicate that if you have 20 children yes. and four of them should obtain the degree and they are posted to their various stations and they are teaching, at the end of the day, having received their principal salary, they can look after the rest of their children. This is wholesome. This is wholesome. It is ultra modern. It, All right. It is ultra modern. One minute more. Therefore, nothing. Therefore, nothing dies faster than a, a new idea in a close mind. Kukrudu. Kukrudu. All right. MPP all the way. No problem at all. All right. I will take another one yes, from this side. Yeah. Please Thank speak you. to us. Thank Introduce yourself you. first. Thank you, Bella. My name is not Bella. I am Kukiti. Oh, okay. Yes. Thank you very much. Uh, my name is Eskin. Uh, my colleague that spoke right now yes. is a teacher. Speak equally, into the microphone, please. And equally, I am also a teacher. 
So I want to come here and address all the issues that he has raised. Right. One, the, the first issue that we would like to... It's going up. Relax. Yes. Relax. It's going up. Yes. Uh, my colleague made mention of teacher upgrading and teacher promotion issues. We are all in Ghana here. We know what is happening within the system. It's not the only teacher that is teaching. We are all in the system. We know what is happening now. Very what is, soon. What is happening? Very soon. Tell us what yes, is happening. Very soon. I can tell you. I can tell you that very soon, teachers are going to demonstrate because of the issues of upgrading and promotions. You are well aware. Yes, you are well aware. You are well aware that teachers who are stuck at assistant director for about seven years now cannot leave that particular rank simply because there is no issue of promotion. When we completed, when we completed college, the moment you complete school, you are posted. That is automatically or automatic posting. Yes. Now, listen to what is happening now. Now, when it comes to when it comes to when it comes to teacher deficit in Ghana today, we have ninety-four thousand teacher vacancies. But this year, this year, the only the only number of teachers that was admitted was only 24,000. Which means that we are going to have about 70,000 teachers in the house who are not going to be posted. Something that has never happened before. Now, um, when, you, when you started the projection, you were saying that um, Akashi North Akashi North has issues of uh, education and staffs. I can tell you point blank that when it comes to issues of education, Akashi North is a tough notch. <laughs> Why do I say so? I, I am sure, I am sure you have never broadcasted anything concerning uh, what student accommodation on your channel before. You have never done that in Akashi North. And let me tell you, and let me tell you, and let me tell you, when it comes to educational infrastructure, Akashi North is number one. That is why I can tell you, I can tell you that we have only two MPs in Ghana. We have only two MPs in Ghana. We have the Honorable Peter Lotu Kotui, and the rest of the MPs. Nobody, when it comes to issues of education here, nobody. Now, let me tell you, let me give you one statistic. Okay, hold on. Now, we have been having issues of teacher deficit. Okay. We have been having issues of teacher deficit. One minute more. Yes. In 2022. Right. With the might of the Honorable MP here, he has posted 74 teachers to this particular state. Okay. I can tell you, and I can also tell you on authority, that this year, when recruitment are being done, Akati North was never on the portal. Akati North was never on the portal. Yes. We have to call the Honorable MP yes. to give us, to support us, to hang up us to the portal. And I can tell you today, as we speak, 126 teachers have been posted right now and they are at post okay. right now. You said, please, can you bring the flags down? I need to yes, see. Yes, Gentlemen, please bring the flags down. I need to see. You are a teacher, you mentioned. Yes. What's your rank? Principal superintendent. Principal superintendent. Yes. In which of the schools? I am currently... Okay, I teach at Avec Heavy DHHS. I didn't hear that. I have Avec Heavy DHHS. That is why you teach. Yes. Okay. And... All right. Shall we have some quiet, please? Shall... Let's have some quiet.
Let's have some quiet. Let's have some quiet. And you mentioned that this year alone, or under his leadership, he's brought about 74 teachers. No, that is 2022, 2023. Okay. This year, mm -hmm. the newly recruited teachers, we have 126 of them. Of them in this yes. in this district? Yes. Teaching the second, The second highest okay. in the Volta region. Okay. All right. Okay, calm down. Calm down. So first of all, first of all, we will address the issue of teenage pregnancy and unemployment, and then we'll come to education as well. But I'll come to the MPP side first. Um, the DCE happens to be the parliamentary candidate for the NPP as well. And when it comes to development, we know that the DCE is champion development in the constituency. Our young women from both sides are crying and singing to the same song. What is happening in the constituency regarding youth unemployment and teenage pregnancy and what have you been able to do about it? Thank you, uh, Madam. Yeah, we are so much grateful this morning to have a cutting off. In the first place, I want to have the opportunity to uh, thank our chiefs and our political leaders and everybody for holding our cutting off together. NDC, MPP, we are together. As you can see, we don't fight everything. We base our issues on issues. And so we are very much happy that we are here this afternoon or this morning. In the first place, talking about youth unemployment. In fact, uh, our DCE, he was the parliamentary candidate 2020, and then he pleaded with the people in the constituency to send him to parliament so that he can do more for the people. But that couldn't materialize. Still, he's going again. In the area of jobs, in fact, he has done so well that what is happening now is that a lot of the youths, a lot of the youths, who couldn't have the opportunity to continue uh, the education to tertiary are being put together into skill training. Even as I'm talking, as I'm talking, as I'm talking, some of the youth are still at training now so that they can have employable jobs. Okay. Okay. And also, 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 when it comes to those who have been to senior high school, they have been to tertiary. When the free senior high school policy came, there was the high demand for teachers. And so he had been able to move through the system. And a lot of our youth who have completed training colleges and university with beard have been recruited and they are now teaching with DES. Okay. Wait. We just. Hold on, please. Please hold on. Please hold on. Okay, so we just don't want to talk here this morning. We want to prove that we are doing the job. Yes. First of all, you mentioned that there are a number of the youth here who are into skills training. Skills training. How many of them would you be able to tell us? Yeah, actually, I, I cannot speak to the statistics exactly, but for now, currently, 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 those who are in training now about aquaculture, fish farming, there are about 120 as I speak. So as we sit as here, I sit here, 120 of youth them are in are training into aquaculture, aquaculture and training, fish farming. Fish farming okay. As I speak. Where is this training going on? It's going on. When, when it's... So. Where is it going on? That was the municipal assembly. Okay. Yes. That's where it's going it's on. It's going on. And currently, I think you can cross check. Okay. Yes. At the municipal assembly. Uh, district assembly. District yeah, assembly. Yes, yes. Okay. And you mentioned another one, the second one. So what I was saying is that when the free senior high policy came, yes. All over Ghana, there was high demand for teachers because of the volumes of students are teaching the senior high school, Akati Senior High School. The volumes of demand for teachers made it possible that a lot of teachers should be recruited. So our youth who have been to the system, have gone to senior high school, have been to training college, those who went to the university and they have acquired their degree in education, a lot of them 
have been recruited and they are now teaching with GES as I speak. That's what the second one that I said. Okay, let's go one second. Okay, and so, and when it comes to recruitment into services, okay, when it comes to recruitment into services, right, you can see that our youth, our youth, our youth, which has never happened, about thirty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Thirty of our youth are recruited into the services now. Okay. Talk about the police, talk about the military, talk about the fire service, talk about immigration. Currently. Okay. I think Do you have the evidence? Do you have the we evidence have the addresses. that they've been accepted yes, yes, into we have these the addresses. security yes, services? Yes, yes. Do you have. have photos of these young men and women? We have the we have we have their details. And you can prove it. We have we can prove it. That we have their details. Of them. When, yes. when did this happen? No, I'm talking about from 2017 to now. So in the, the last eight years. Yes. It has never happened. It has never happened in this district. So for the first time in the last eight years, yes. 30 of your youth have been recruited into the security yes. services. At least we are talking of youth unemployment. Yes, please. At least if you are able to maneuver yeah. for one, two, three people to get into the system, mm. which has never been the case, mm. we should applaud ourselves for that. Okay. Yeah, we should applaud ourselves okay. for that. Okay. Congratulations for that one, and I'm yes. really happy that it has happened. But do you think it is enough? With the complaints that we are hearing on the ground, do you think it is enough that only 30 of them have been recruited in the last eight years? Because we see them here, yes. they are hungry. Yes. They want jobs to do. What more are we doing to get a lot more of them into these services? Uh, that, that is what I'm saying, that looking at the chunk of the youth that are coming out from the various schools across the country, and for the first time, this has never happened in our constituency, we are having this, I think that's the stepping stone we are moving on. We know that as we speak, as we speak, there is uh, also a job fair going on in Accra. Job fair. Job fair going on in Accra. Is it the Ghana Report job fair? Pardon me? Is it the Ghana Report job exactly, fair? You're exactly, 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 exactly. Okay, and some you've been able to send some of them over yes, there to go and look yes, for jobs? Yes. That is the organization we are doing currently to make sure that those who are ready, because you must also look at the readiness. Okay. The interest of the individual right. youth involved. Okay. If you're not interested in the police and I send you, you cannot perform. One last question. Because yes. you mentioned the Ghana Reports Job Fair. Yes. And you said your constituents have moved from here to Accra. Did you help them with transportation or anything? Or they went as individuals? No, no, no. It is our organization okay. that we want to help them to go and so we have facilitated their process oh, of you are now facilitating yes sir. to let them go yes for to the job fair for to job try, to try their luck there okay. yes all right okay so we've dealt with youth unemployment I will come back so that we talk about the roads that she talked about. You, you address that one. Okay, so quickly, let's talk about um, unemployment. Let's talk about education as well. You are a ranking member, of course, on the Committee for Education in Parliament. Tell us what's been happening and if what he's saying is true. Let's go on, sir. Let's go on. Youth employment is a challenge in the constituency. Please hold on, please hold on. Oh, calm down. I love you people, calm down. Calm down, thank you. Thank you, you are very wonderful people, thank you. Let's move on, please. Yeah, I can tell you that for the past eight years, unemployment in this constituency has increased. Increased because the NDP government has not done anything concrete to abate the situation. But I can tell you that as an individual, I've been able to do a number of things. If you listen to the gentleman who spoke here, we have teachers who trained on their own, but were not being employed. 
when the opportunity came, the 74 that he mentioned, yeah. 67 were from these districts. Okay. Calm down, calm down. Calm down so he can continue. Honorable, let's continue. We can hear you in the microphone. Now, you also realize that uh, some after secondary school or junior high school were not able to further their education. So over the years, some have been apprenticed to either train as a hairdresser or a dressmaker. And I've made sure that I have provided them with machines or equipment that they will need. How, so far... How many of them? How many of them? Honorable, so how many of them? How I many? I've given out 250 hand sewing machines. 250 hand sewing machines. machines. To and the young women in the constituency exactly. for dressmaking. Exactly. Okay. And next week, Monday, I am going to give out another 70 to apprentices in the district. They are already for the submission. When were you able to do this? Yeah, Monday, next week. Another no, 70. I'm talking about the 200. When, were, when did you do the 200? The first 200 that you are talking about? The 250 yes. has been over the past seven years. Over the last seven, seven years, years yes. that's when you were able to give 250 of them. Yes. But coming Monday, you will give another 70. Exactly. Then again, we have a number of artisans in the district who need support. So I've been able to supply 20 welders who have workshops, welding equipment throughout the constituency. Then again, I was also able to donate 20 industrial machines to dressmakers in the constituency. So that's what we are doing or I'm doing to make sure that people are self-employed in the constituency. Honorable, are we, can we have some silence, please? Let's have some silence. Let's have some silence. Akachi North. Akachi North. Akachi North. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear the MP? You can hear him. I can't hear him. Please. Can we have some order? I want to ask a very important question, so please, let's have some order. Honorable, grateful for all that you've been able to do for the community. But the question I have, are we not only doing donations every now and then just to score political points? Because the problem actually is youth unemployment. We love the fact that you've been able to help some of the young women in the constituency. Over the last seven years, you're telling us that you've been able to give 250 sewing machines. But the youth are here, the women are here, the men are here. If they don't have money to even go and buy fabric, how would they be able to even pay all these seamstresses and designers who are using those sewing machines that you have given them to work? That's number one. Number two, I love the fact that you've done it for the young women. But how about the young men in the constituency? Yeah, thank you very much. I earlier said that when you talk of dressmakers, it's either female or male. So it's and both, yeah, both, both sexes. Yes. So those who got the designer machines were largely men. Then again, those, those who, who are, most of them who got it were men. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Then again, I also spoke about. Uh, uh, welders, yes. they are largely men. 20 of them. At least. So if you go to their shops now, okay. they are happy working and then okay. their work is becoming easier for okay. them. Yeah. Okay. All right. Honorable, anything else you want to say before we tackle the road issue? 
anything else you want to say before we tackle the road infrastructure yeah. issue? About the youth also. Yes, sir. What I do, probably it may not fall under employment, but the issue is that I have a number of them who have gone to tertiary institutions. As I speak now, I spend 300,000 cities every year in form of scholarships for the youth. So that they can go for tertiary education. For tertiary. Yes. Tertiary. 300,000 300,000 every year. Yes. How Currently, many? I have 85 of them. at the tertiary institutions okay. for whom I pay school fees. Okay. Yeah. So that's what you've been able to do for the constituency over the last eight years. All right. Shall we come back to... You, you, have, you have something to say? Or we want to come back to the roads? Because I remember Vivian was talking about a particular road here, and she says that it's a, it's a big bother. You want to address that issue? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much, and good morning to our viewers and your cherished listeners. Um, I'm surprised that NDC supporters, including our MP, who has been MP on NDC's ticket for the past 12 years, NDC supporters will come here and be complaining about bad nature of roads. Is it not whimsical for someone to be in parliament? And then you see your colleague MPs lobbying through road ministry and other organizations for their roads to be tarred. Then you will come and sit down and be telling the constituents that their roads are bad. So who, who, who constructs the roads? He was saying that during NDC's regime, they brought contractors to come and construct the road. And then MPP came and let them go. Good. Has there been any construction without even a signpost to show that this project has been awarded. Has there been anything like that? This road has not been awarded to any contractor. So this road has not been awarded. The fact, the fact of the matter, the fact of the matter is that, Cookie, the fact of the matter is that in 2016, in 2016, when election was approaching, then they brought graders to the road. They brought graders to the road. This happened at Akati South too. They brought graders to the road just to lure people into believing that this road is under construction. It happened over and over in this constituency. So when we say road construction, nothing to this constituency shows that our roads our roads have been awarded for constructor. Nothing, nothing shows that. Except that, except that we saw graders. Then let me come to, let me come to, go okay, on, let sir. me come to Please education. Go Please go on, sir. Yeah. Yeah, Cookie, you are a journalist. Yes. You have been going around the whole country. Yes. When we say a road has been uh, awarded yes. for construction. We will see a sign. You, you we'll will see, see something. something. We'll see exactly. Evidence. You yeah. will see a sign. Yeah, we'll see evidence. Not graders as we speak now. There is a grader on this road. You understand? So that, would that confirm or would that say that, you, do you say, see this and say, this road has been constructed? No. Now, you will need to calm down. No problem. Honorable is here. All right, let's have some silence. Are let, you done? Please let me continue. come to education. No, I want you to finish the roads first. That particular question, you've answered it, right? On the road. Yes, you have answered it. Yes. Did you say that there's a grader there right now? There is a grader currently working there. on this road. Okay. Yes, there is a grader. So, so if you, if you say I'm lying, this is the road. About 100 meters away from here, 
you can just walk and you see the work on the road. Okay. So does it mean that officially work has started on that road and you will continue to do it and complete it? What I know, uh -huh. there is reshaping of going the road. on. Reshaping. Yes. But not construction. Yes. Not permanent so exactly construction. what happened. Okay. That was what happened in 2016. Okay. So there is reshaping. Okay. You understand? Okay. So that is exactly what happened in 2016, and they are saying that the road has been awarded. This is not true. Honorable. This is not true. Honorable. In 2016, you were MP for the area in 2016. Can you confirm for a fact, and do you have evidence to back the fact that that particular road was awarded to a specific contractor? And once it was awarded, I want to believe that funds were available for the construction of the road because that's what happens when you give a job to a, con a, con a, con a contractor yeah. to construct you, the road. Thank you very much. Yes, sir. I can confirm with records over here. Okay, wait, wait. There's an image on the TV right now. So you see, that's the road, 2016. So I can confirm. So this was 2016. Yes. yes. Which contractor was it awarded to? It was. I, I can't remember the contractor's name, but it was awarded. So the minister for roads, Kwesi Amakwata, came to Parliament on July 13, 2019, to confirm that this project was awarded and that it will be continued when funds were available. It will be continued this is still. when funds are available. Yes, that's what he said. But by practice, we know that before, before a contract is awarded, funds are made available for it before it even starts. That's what we know. There, there was budgetary allocation in 2016 okay. to start the project. Okay. You know, it is a GOG project. Okay. So every year we have to make budgetary allocation. Right. And that was what the Minister of Finance did okay. for the project to start. So does it mean that from 2016 we haven't had any allocation for it? It was it, The work was uh, stopped by the government in 2018. What was the reason for the stopping? The were not available. So that's that why it has been said. stopped? Yes. So the minister then confirmed that the project was awarded. But funds are not available. It. Yes, because they couldn't get money to continue with it. Wow. Okay. Okay. All right. You are from there. So you want to say something? One person has to react, so... Okay. He says he'll talk. Uh, cooking. Yeah. So... Akachi... Akachi North. I can't know. So, as I was saying, I just told you that there was reshaping of this road yeah. in 2016. Yes. As it is going on now. Now, what we are referring to, the pictures show on this screen, this road does not pass through the moon. There is a divert at cover that goes through Akomo to the moon, then to Akati. This one goes through Africa, cover to Avavi, uh, then to Akati. So if they are saying that this road has been awarded and they are mentioning Avedakpa, Zemu, Akati Road, I'm just surprised. I'm surprised. So that reshaping, that reshaping, that took place in 2016. The same thing reshaping is going on now. That is what I'm talking about. Thank you. Akati. Akati. NDC. On this side. Calm down. Calm down so we can continue. Calm down. Calm down. FO. Slow down, slow down, slow down. 
I need. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Who wants to speak from this side? Who wants to speak from this side? I want the three people who want to speak from this side to line up. And the three people on this side to line up. We want to hear from you. Can I see the three people, please? So I can bring back the microphone. I took the microphone away because the disruption was way too much. All right, please. Are the three people ready on this side? The three people are ready. Production, can we have the microphones? Production, can we have the microphones? Sir, what is your name and what do you want to say? My name is Smith Anodro. Slow down, slow down so we can hear you. And please don't hold the microphone, you are covering it. Thank you. Slow down, speak to us so we can hear you. Fab, okay. let's go on. My name is Peter Nodru. Okay. AKA Mayor. All right, Mayor. For the respect of my motherland, voter region, can I speak away? Yes, please. Upper. But you can mix it small too for me because we have you a larger worry. audience don't watching. Don't worry. I'm a vegetarian. A banto, banto, no go to Kunya or voter region. Alola, cutting off her. I'm being my phone now. Marco, if you are going to buy, you can flatter No one follow me. Adolia, I love you. When they pay you to come and make noise, it's different, totally. So, if come on anything, I'm going to talk a little bit because of ignorance. That manieta, it's a ton of how old it is. A cutting off day, a cutting off. Ayo kwea, ayo kwa katina ofia, kovia, ya bempi, atu nkwa defia, ayo kubia. Danye nanyo, nyamabu la gao. Akwa e katenye le, dote bobo tiyama, alopo di sinava, a konfeme. Akwa e katenye le, afi wia wo, aliko domo la. Wait, are you talking about this building? This building? Wait. What building is this? What building is this? What building is it? It's what? What building is this? What is it? Shopping mall, shopping mall. Oh, this is supposed to be a shopping mall. Yeah, for Katimo. It's a shopping mall. And it was started by Honorable. He started it. Yeah. Which year? 2016. He started it in 2016. Let him talk. Relax. 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 So, Honorable started this shopping mall in 20. I'm talking to the gentleman, sir. He started in 2016. Speaking to the microphone. Continue. Continue. I go to Koya. Speak into the microphone. We cannot hear. I go to Koya. Okay. Akwa yeme nyeko moya. To Sofia. Koya vaga. Koko ya kati. Ayo vogledi. Nyamama glo. No more nyaku na kono dasing. Because my own community, north of a community in Akati North. Nyabe MP. Every year. This year, we catch your Allah and your chairman. This year, we are going to be a big one. One minute more. Yeah. One minute. Come on. I'm listening. Continue, but you have only one minute more. But I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, Nya brother eka lafia MP anya ka komela fia MP yes ku vi samani 
Kingsford, MP. Even Amayo Kona, Woto Mafia, MP, yes, to be Samno. Open chairman, Anya Mokata, Anya Kelly. Okay. No, okay. but no, but Thank you. I told you I can a cutting off. Thank you. Told you I can a cutting off. Thank you. Anya Kelly. Okay. 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 Thank you. All right. Shall we no. also hear? Be easy on the microphone so we can still have it for other people to use. Okay. My dark, my name is Please, my name is Lepo Valance. Hello. Please, my name is Lepo Valance. Before you continue, can you tell them to come down? Because you cannot hear. Hey. Honorable. Honorable, please tell the people to calm down, please. All right, let's hear you, sir. Yo, my name is Lekpo Valentine. Valentine. I'm from Avedakwa. Okay. Okay, please, I'll miss it with every, uh, every Thank English. Thank you. Um, what I want to say is, uh, our honorable MP, if... Bring the microphone close to you, yes. For 12 good years now, he is the MP of the constituency. But when you want to talk about development, we are not seeing what we want. When I can ask my honorable MP. I can ask my honorable MP. The MP common fund. The MP common fund that is coming. He cannot put, he cannot mention one project that he has started and complete 100 percent in the area. It's MP common fund. Start and completed. I put it to him. None of our are cutting off the MPP. No, I do here. Catch me for now, God. You have to be and this America called and this year. Venom, oh, for above a duena. I know the Jew, Kakaka, and you call light the Duyamo. I mean, light the Duyamo. Who for your nominee light? No, 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 you don't MP. One minute more. When we go to the honorable hometown right now. We don't have what you call public toilets. The people are defecating around. No, no, no public toilets. No public toilets. No public toilets. No public toilets in the MP's home, uh, hometown. No pub water. Wait. Water. The MP's own hometown. Hometown. We There's don't no have public toilets. Public toilet there. So how do, how do you manage? How have you been managing? Please, sir. If there's no public toilets, how have you been managing? They, they are going to push. They are going to push. Water. Water. Every water. The people around the area fetch water from the gutter. Water. So there's no what? water. There's no water. There's no water. There's no water. There's no water. No water. No water. Okay. No water. Okay. Well, Hold please, on. Please, let, let me finish. Oh, I've given you so much time. Last one, please. Last one. What? Developmental project that we are talking of. Last one, yes. MPP ever. Okay. Let me know Nom, let me have an area home. When you go to Harvey, when you go to Harvey, we have a ball, a back up ball over there. Judge up heavy and uh, uh, the one one that we are having now. Eh? Not MPP, we cannot see the agenda one one. What they are saying that the, the contractor is on the road, constructing road. They are, they are, uh, they are, uh, they are flabbing out came here last time. What he said was, they've, they are, they've started their job and they've done only 28%. Okay. Thank so what you. are they doing? Thank you. Thank you. Can you please take the microphone? Okay. Um, wait. <laughs> wait. 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 
Relax. 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 Chairman, what's your name? I'm David. 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 Yeah. But you know enough for no. Okay, my sister. But you know. Okay. But before you speak, tell your people to calm down so we can hear you. I have you. I have you. Malaku, I'm a shaman of young. Not a dog. No, sir. Let's hear you. Let's hear you. Yeah, thank you, Cookie. My brother is talking about an employment issue here. But by the help of MP, our MP, he managed to buy laundry machine to establish a, a, a place for him to be working. Now my brother who spoke over here. My MP, my MP. By the help of MP, he managed, he managed. He's saying that MP is common fund. MP is not use common fund to buy the laundry machine to him. MP used his own packet money to buy the laundry machine to him. Cookie, Cookie, are you seeing here? Are you seeing here? This is old market. And 2012 to 2016, they tried to break this place and send the market to the top, the assembly area, and use this place as a shopping mall. The, the contractor was working perfectly. This road was, this road has been completed 95%. As change of government come, these people are saying that there's no contract on this project and this project. They are former DC, who is, uh, what, do you, what do you call it? Uh, Prince, Prince Sodoka. Prince Sodoka. Ezu, Ezu, Ezu. Calm down, calm down, calm down. Let me finish him. Calm down, let me finish him. <laughs> Prince Sodoka said that there's no uh, document on this uh, job. So he will go and find out. But the very day they were award this contract, this road to Akachi, this is the major road to Akachi. What you are going? And, uh, Prince, Prince Sodoka, that very day they award this contract, that's the very day they award from uh, Bootsu Johnson, Bootsu Johnson, to Chebi, Chebi, but they have completed Chebi's road, but this place, have been, they, they did okay. it like this. Okay, okay thank you. So they cannot say right. MP is not doing anything. Okay. MP tried to pay the school fees okay. to his, their chairman, okay. their constant chairman. Okay, have you seen? thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Who's speaking? Who is speaking? Who is speaking? Okay, hold on, hold on. Because two people have spoken from this side, I want to take the second person. If there's no person, yeah, I'm coming, please. I'm coming. If you are not ready to talk, then please, the chairman wants to talk. But I will not come to you again because there's nobody ready to speak. I want to be fair. You want to speak? You want to speak? All right, please go ahead. Uh, 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 this morning, I'm representing the new patriotic party. Um, over the years, 2016, I've been hearing that our MP, the city MP, Honorable Nochukotu, is one of the incompetent MPs in the Volta region. Uh, having heard that, I tried my best to take my votes from wherever I was, that is Ashanti region, to this place, to see things for myself. Um, 2018, I had admission to go to the university, and then um, having lots of assistant complaint to our PM, that is their communication officer, Honorable Patrick Kwame Ahiabu. He told me that um, our city MP, is a father for all to this constituency. For that matter, he is going to help me through my education. I would want to say this morning that it is not because of he has not been able to help me personally. That is why I'm saying this this morning. But because we have learned that he is the ranking member of education in parliament. As a matter of fact, as our constituency is being talked about all the times, that education issues are not on the rise. I wanted to check things for myself. And then I have written a letter to him. Um, he directed me to send my letter of assistance to 
um, the PM, of which I did. He told me that my admission closing date will be extended. I want to ask the sitting panels over here that has there been any time that investors admissions, the deadline for university admissions has been extended, of which I have no idea about. And then, by the help of myself and my parents, I was able to go to the university, and uh, in my level 300, I had this opportunity to apply for Ghana National Petroleum Scholarship. And they needed somebody who, they needed somebody who is at least a high profile figure in my constituency. I came down with my letter of assistance and he, the sitting MP, directed me to our, our current PM that I should send my letter of assistance to his office. When he comes down, the letter will be given to him. I have done all these things, but as I speak with you, everything proved fatal. So the, so the letter has not been signed yet? I don't know if he has received the letter or not. Okay. So exactly what is your question, please? My question is yes. that he being the ranking member of education issues in Ghanaian parliament, okay. what actually is it doing in our constituency? Okay. And my second question is, about three years now, okay. when the voter region has been ranked to check for teenage pregnancies yeah. of people who are not getting the chance to go to school, Akati North is on the rise in teenage pregnancy, which simply means that there is absolutely nothing that is being done about education as far as our constituency is concerned. Okay. All right. Thank you. Please pass the microphone to my crew members. Thank you so much. Sir, you wanted to react to something. Yes, please give him the microphone. Choboy. Majiba. All right, sir, shall we hear you? Uh, Madiba Ma, I wanted to rebuttal statement made by a gentleman here called asking, mention that MP is paying my school fee and MP is here. I wanted him, before somebody pay your school fee, we need to write application to him. There's a process he passed and pay. I want to ask him, I wanted to, you to give him the microphone, whether truly he has been paying my school fee and how much is my admission fee? Ask him. Hello? Again, again, I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised that my honorable MP narrating that Zamu Road has been constructed. I'm quite surprised. When you look at the scenario, the picture you show, they label it Zamu Road. That's it, Zamu Road. That road, I can't even take you and buy you fuel. You go there, you see things yourself. It is not true. So I'm not surprised if MP, honorable MP, can stand on his foot and be deceiving the constituencies, telling his members that he's paying somebody's school fee, which he never paid. Which he never paid. Okay. Again, again, I want to make it clear. Member of parliament, some of us, we respect him a lot. But it doesn't mean that you tell lies to his people to come here and be narrating. I end there. When we continue, I'll come back again. Okay. All right, please go ahead. Ayazu, uh, Ayazu, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm so much disappointed in the uh, MPP chairman, Kudalo. Uh, I'm so much disappointed in him. I am aware that MP pay his school fees. His school fees have been paid by MP. I am aware. Yes.
Your school fees have been paid. Let me pay your school fees. Let me pay your school fees. Stop lying. His school fees have been paid. Let me pay his school fees. At this age, you are not in university level 100. You are not ashamed of yourself. You are not in level 100. You are not ashamed of yourself. He paid your school fees. Let me continue. I am, I am highly also disappointed in our brother that the road, the road that has been shown on the tele TV now, that road, first class road, has been reduced to just a, a ordinary rough roads. And MPP as a party, they are not ashamed of themselves. What has they done in this constituency? They should mention a project that they have started and ended in this constituency. We are talking about. Ayazu, Ayazu. There is no project under the leadership of MPP in Akashi Love that has been started and completed successfully. I never, we, don't, we don't even have one in this constituency. Yes, there's no one. I am so much disappointed in some of my, my constituents here that they are coming out boldly to say that MPP did end this. Uh, uh, NDC party did not do anything for them. Okay, wait. Wait, wait. No, let wait. me know. Wait. Wait. Do you want to use this opportunity to show some other things that you have done? Because we've got some we pictures. Have we have a lot. Okay, crew. Cool. Anita, we, we are ready. He says that he wants to speak to some other things that they have done in the constituency. Yeah, you, can, you, can, you can show them. All right. Yeah. Which project well, we are, is yeah, it? This one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The this one, one. Yes. Yeah, it's our project. But this one is not completed. It's not completed. Yes. Yes. You we started. have started the project in 2016. This is the level that has reached. It's not completed. When they came to power 2016, they are refused to complete the project. Okay. Wait. Wait. We are wait. not talking about. Wait. We are not talking about party. We are Sir, talking about Akati Law as a constituent. Wait. Is this project? for the constituency by the sitting MPs on pocket or it is by the assembly for the assembly which one is it I want to understand is it hold on no, I, 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 want, I, want, I want to know yes I want which to understand the project, that MPP government gentlemen I assume. No, no, let, let, let me let me answer This project yes. is being financed by NDC government. Then. Okay. Yes. Okay. okay. So it's not MP's pocket body. Okay. There is no single project in Ghana that is being undertaken by MPP today that they are using their pocket money. It is not anyone. I just wanted to understand. No, there's no one. There's none. No, wait. None. I just wanted to understand because out of his own pocket, he's been able to help some people. So I wanted to understand if this was his own personal project or it's by government. This was a project for the then NDC government. Oh. And the MPP did not continue. They, they, they never had a block, a single block. They never okay. had a single block. Let's go. They are where? Okay. They are where? All right. You Let's see, go. The on. most annoying, the most annoying team. Okay. They are then uh, chairman. May he so rest in peace. When MPP won power in 2016, he said that this structure will remain like this and the road will continue to be uncompleted. And this is the state of the road you are seeing. That road that you are seeing now. MPP government have reduced that road, the level of the road that you see on the screen. They have reduced that road, that level, to ordinary rough road. Okay, if let's the, bring you back. You can see the state. You can see let's the state bring back the road. picture. Yes, wh which one is this one? Sir, sir, please, which one is this one? This is Assembly Hall. When was it built? In the term, 2012, in the time of NDC. 2012. Yes, we built this. Okay, yes. but you continue. Okay, so. If we talk of projects in a catching off, MPP has zero, 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 zero. MPP there has zero projects. I can tell you from authority.
Let's and continue. Then, yeah, we can continue. Let's continue. Avoid school. Under the elbow leadership of our, our MP, they built a dormitory for Avoid school students. The Avoid school land will be fenced by our honorable MP. All these things have been done under the leadership of NDC. Today, when they, when they came to power 2016 till today, they should mention what they have done for this constituency. My, my dear, you travel from from home, from home to Akatino, right? Am I right? Some of the post holes on the road from home to Avedakpa is more than Maho. If you see, you, you drop through the road, you see what is happening. Are we not part of Ghana? Voter region, is it not part of Ghana? But all these projects have been left untouched in the region. So we are suffering. Even the lady who, who spoke on their behalf said that she has completed school and she's unemployed. The number of people that MP has sponsored to attend nursing training, school of hygiene, university, they're uncountable. They're uncountable. The kind of work, the social intervention that are being undertaken by my MP is uncountable. So I want to tell my people that they should, you know, they are coming from source of lies. And to continue online. Look at this. These are selling back. Yes. These are selling back school. I am not a Who pays? I've a selling back school. We have built that school. Yes. And the apple leadership of MP. Who is the MP of the constituency? Who is the MP? He's the MP. He lobbied for this project and brought it to a cutting off. Honorable, please pass the microphone. Hello. Honorable. Hello. I want to say two things. Okay. Number one, on this building. Okay. Why are coming left here? A cutting of this assembly for project here. Okay. We started in 2015. 2015. Okay. Then 2016, we lost power. Okay. When the MPP came, they even refused to pay the contractor with the money we left behind. So we have a judgment debt on this project right now. So because of that, they have garnished the assembly's common fund for cutting off. You see? So we are still paying for this project with interest because they refused to pay the contractor with the money that was left behind. Okay. And you said you wanted to correct something about this Islamic building. Ayazu. Yeah, that Aferingba project. Let's bring back, let's bring no, number it Number one, bring I it back. got that project to Akati North. Then, when I brought it to the DC Chief Executive to award, what happened was that, my information was that he said I feel like my youth misbehaved towards him. Is it this one? So they diverted. Sir, this yes, one. yes. This one. I'm coming. They diverted the project. So I went to get fund again. Then they gave me this project plus a six unit a WC toilet. That's what you find over there now. So we consulted, I consulted that project from my get fund allocation. Hello. Kukrudu. Kukrudu. Now I've come to realization that NDC has decided to go into this election with lies. I want to set this record straight. I will not argue much. But what I want to ask the NDC chairman and honorable MP sitting here, I want them to tell me the year in which the Afiara Nyigba Islamic School has been constructed and commissioned. They should tell me the year. Ask them to tell me the year. They should tell me the year. Hello. Yeah, if you wouldn't mind, let me begin to talk about projects that I have lobbied for 
to come to this district, even in their government, which they couldn't do. But he's asking, what was the question again? You asked him a question. The year, the year in which that so, project has been awarded, constructed, and commissioned. They should tell me. Look, uh, I want to start with the project so that you will know what I have done. Now, okay. number I one. Just want, I want, I when just want I became the year, the project has been, has been I can awarded. talk about and at least 23 get farm projects that I have brought to this district. Does it include the answer Islamic it's, it's one of them. This is one of them. Yes. But he's saying it's not true and that you should give him the year in which it was started, completed, and handed over to the assembly. We handed this project over in 2019. So Dekka was the DC at the time. You can ask him. Yes. 2019. He said 2019. So Dekka was so, the DC. So. So, okay. Yes, madam. Cookie. Hello. Cookie. I am the presiding member of a catching of this assembly. I think I'm sorry. When we talk about projects, this man did so well, the MP. He did so super. All the schools in the district, he lobbied for projects and constructed either six unique classroom block or three unique classroom block or kindergarten. The whole district. Today, today, all the classrooms that we can boast of in Akachi North was lobbied by the MP and consulted. Being a ranking member on the education committee, he used that influence to speak to the authorities and brought more projects. Let me tell you this, madam. Let me tell you this. The first work of the MP, the first work of the MP, or the first functioning of the MP is to do what? Is to lobby. Whether your party is in power, or your party is in opposition, you have to lobby. And you must be a lobbyist. This man is a lobbyist. Our MP is a lobbyist. He lobbied for so many projects. Madam, as I'm saying now, being a presiding member, had it not been the work of the Honorable MP, that has some lobby in the system. And another critical area too is that all the projects that MPP can boast of today, they are only wetting the bottle. They are only waiting the bottle because it was the MP, because it was the MP who lobbied for the project, who even lobbied for creation of the district, even the constituency. So in 2012, in 2012, a catching of constituency and a catching of district assembly was created by the able effort of the Honorable Peter Notu Koti. So all the projects before this executive. Before everybody can boast around this area that their party executive, their quarter of you, it is the work of the Honorable MP who led to the creation of the district and then the creation of the constituency. Madam, let's come back to project. More project, show another project. We want to see more project. I want to interpret them. I am the presiding member and the communication officer of a catching of this. More project. let me see more project. You see, madam, this project was lobbied and brought by Honorable MP. I was here before that project was tended and given to a contractor, and the contractor did the work. I need another one. I need another one. There are more projects. There are more projects. There are more projects. I am even shocked that the people who... Yes. Support for artisans. The Honorable MP shared sewing machine shared sewing machine to most of the ladies learning or uh, going into uh, 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 sewing or dressmaking those are the evidence they know all those who are there some of them are even with them some of the people who are carrying that those machines on their head some of them are with them because they were misled they were deceived by them and they joined them today they are there Honorable, you see this one, Community Information Center, Community Information Center, the whole district, we have more than 15 constituency information centers across. It was posted by Honorable MP. More than 15 constructed by the Honorable MP across the district. We can see them, the evidence is there. That one you can see, you can see. 
So honorable MD, I need more projects, more projects. You see, communities ask for support. Communities who are doing several projects. They were supported by the honorable MP through the MP's common fund. Those are the evidence. You can see this is community initiated project sponsored by the MP. Sponsored by the MP. So I need more projects, more projects, more projects. You can see them. Educational support. Educational support. Through the able support of the honorable MP, he lobbied the minister and this like this one. You can see himself. That is his picture, not me. That is the MP's picture. Okay. That is the MP's picture. You can see. Thank it you. is very clear. Thank you. Thank you so much, madam. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Choboy. 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 Kukurudu. 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 I I I want to I want to say that chairman. NDC chairman said that MPP has not started any project and completed it. I want to cut law. I want to cut law. In the first place, before we get real development in this constituency, it is within the era of MPP. Rural electrification projects was brought to the constituency when MPP was there under President Kufo. Now, when we move from there, when we move from there, at first senior high, our only secondary school in the constituency, the Adani Hall was under construction. They couldn't complete it for the students. But we came and completed our projects. Now, now, moving on, moving on. The road that we are talking about, the road that we are talking about, Toboy, Toboy, Toboy. Now, this road that we are talking about, if it is true that the road was awarded in 2016, who is the contractor? Why is it that, why is it that when the contract was taken from the contractor, he didn't take the government to court for judgment debt? I think you get me. When the contract, when the contract, when a contract has been awarded to you legally, legally, and it has been taken from you, you have to go to court and claim judgment debt. Why is it that the contractor did not take the MPP to come back to court for judgment debt? That is one. Yes. As we are talking, as we are talking, as, as we are talking, we know that, we know that our people, our people, they are traders, they are farmers. So when, when we came to power, we know that there was no market in Akatinov. No market. This is supposed to be our market, where we are. So our government initiated a market project and completed it and commissioned it. That's what we are using now. What the guy do you want? What the guy do you want? What, what the guy do you want? Now, my sister, in this life, we have basic needs, we have wants. One of the needs is what? You, uh, you should be able to have food to eat. That's why we have provided that market. And one of the basic needs is what? Good health. But we know that when I go and show you our health center, our health center, our health center. So when we come to power, Agenda 111 project. We have decided to lobby for that project. Now, Agenda 111 project in our cutting off is about 95% complete. 95% complete Agenda 111. What again? What again? Now, now, our DC is not yet an MP. But recently, recently, in the agricultural sector, we have been able to distribute 500 bags of fertilizer to farmers. Okay. 500 bags of fertilizer to farmers. Okay. My sister, what again do you want? Here, all, right. all that we want is development. 
to your we all right. We don't we don't want to get personal. All right. We don't want to get personal. All right. We want developments. We want developments. Okay. And so anything that can bring development, okay. we are for it. No we problem. are not against anybody. We are one, we are one people. And so this is what we are doing as a party that we can speak to. So okay. if chairman says we have not started any project and completed it, I think it's a palpable lie. It is not true. Okay. Even when you go, before, before, our before courts, you come our in. district courts, the district courts, the district court that we have now, it is the MPP government that initiated the district court and completed it. It's just there by the roadside. Okay. Now, talk about KT blocks. KT blocks from Get Fan. We have, a cutting off have about 32,000 plus population. And now, our basic schools, per the statistics, we have about 31 basic schools. Because of the good work the party is doing, and the government is doing, none of our schools is under three now in the constituency. Now, 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 we have been able to provide furniture. Every year we provide furniture to our students. Sir, please hold what on. What do we want? Hold on, hold on. And the so, only question, wait, 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 sir, wait. Yes. You've said so many impressive things. How come we don't have pictorial evidence? Yes. Please hold on. And my concern is about the Agenda 111 District Hospital that you mentioned. There is no Agenda 111 project in this country, which is 95% complete. I am hold telling on, you. Hold on. I am telling you. Hold on. I am telling you. Hold on. You have come to a cutting off. So you have to hold see it for the first time for yourself. Yes. You have come here. Does it mean, so, please hold on. Just hold on. Just hold on. Because if you say 95 then it means that it is almost operational. Almost complete. Almost incomplete. Please hold on. Yes. Sir, hold on. Hold on. It is not a fight. If you have completed it and you are going to commission it, is it a fight? It's not a fight. Relax. Relax for me. Relax. Not yet, sir. Not yet. I just want to know, for the reason why we are here, for the purposes of our community manifesto, which location is the Agenda 111 District Hospital? It is just along the Akachi Road that is being talked about. This one. Not far from here. And it is 95% yes, complete. Yes, according to the information that I have. Yes. According to the information you have. Yes. But you haven't seen it I've yourself. seen it. I've seen it as at now. I wish you had a photo or a video to show me. Yes, we are going to feed you with that. We are going to feed you with that. So it is not a big deal at 95% all. 95% yes. complete. As we speak, work is ongoing. As we speak, work is still ongoing. All right, ladies yes. and gentlemen. And so we love our people so much. We have been able to give them markets. We are giving them school blocks. We give them water. We give them hospital. We are now constructing our roads. Now we are brought drip machines to shape our roads. What again do we want for our people? We mean well for our people of Akatino. Thank you. You know, because Community Manifesto is for the people, we love to hear the truth. And as TV3, we are also very concerned about the health of constituents. A building may be complete, but maybe hospital facilities, machines and equipment may not be in the building. So if you say 95%, are you talking just about the structure or you are talking about equipment and everything in its entirety? I want to clarify yes. because you cannot say, because you cannot say, gentlemen, behave yourself. Behave yourself behave yourself behave yourself behave yourself we just want to understand structurally complete 
or complete with equipment and everything else. As, as I'm talking, I'm talking of construction. Okay. So we are talking of structural construction. construction. Yes. But do you know he said you'll be commissioning it next month? It's and, ready. And That's and what he is, said. You see, anything is possible. Anything is possible. It is possible. It is possible. So when a building is 95, when the building is 95 percent complete, when a building, when a building, when the structure is 95 complete, when a, a structure sir, is 95 complete, sir, it means that sir, we are all in this country. I don't want us to even do a banter. Yeah. I just want the truth for the people. You know, unfortunately, Ghana does not manufacture hospital equipment. We would have to import them. And we all know how long it takes to import equipment, to clear, for it to go through customs, paperwork, for it to be transported into Akashi North, for it to even, listen to me all, to be fixed in the hospitals. It takes a long time. It's only two months to elections. Your other colleague is telling me you commission it in a month. And you are telling me everything is possible. My How possible is yeah, that? Sir? My sister, if you are able to raise the structure up to that level, what is left to make it uh, what finished for the people to use? I don't think that the is too much. The fixing of the equipment to even get it ready is much more intensive than even the structure. Please. I need you to understand please, that. Do not doubt what we are telling you. Never doubt it. We are saying that we are going to feed you with the information about the structure completion of that project. And we are also going to take you there, take your own photograph, assess it. You can speak to the contractor about okay. that project. Thank you. All right. You can speak to the contractor. What's the name of the contractor? You can speak to the contractor. What's the name of the contractor? What's the name of the contractor? My brothers and sisters, you break the cording. Okay, so we are about to wrap up. Two minutes each, and I'm going to time it. I'll give the MPP the opportunity to tell the people of Akachi North your peace message and your last words to them. They are hungry to hear from you. So in two minutes, let's wrap up. I'll give the NDC the same time to do so. Whoever wants to speak, the two of you can speak, but it has to be in two minutes. All right. So please, go uh, ahead. Uh, Cookie. Yes, sir. I, I just want to point out to something that MP and the NDC chairman are saying that MPP has never initiated any project and completed it. But yet, all the projects that they are pointing out to now and claiming are completed, they are constructed in 2019 within MPP regime and completed in MPP regime. So do we want to say now that the University of Ghana Medical Center, that they are claiming that Mahama built, that University of Ghana, is in a constituency, and the MP is Allah Sanseram. So should Allah Sanseram come and claim University of Ghana Hospital right now that it is her initiative? So this is how NDC have been deceiving people that all these, this, uh, all the projects that they have, uh, all the projects that have been done in this constituency, it is theirs. But I want to tell our people, people of Akati North, all the projects, all the developmental projects you have seen are done during the MPP time. And MPP is ready to continue okay. with the project, with all the developmental One minute. projects. One minute. MPP. One minute. Thank you. I want to say that in a cutting off, in a cutting off, almost 90 plus percent of our votes we give to NDC, always. But the development does not commensurate the vote that we give to them. If it is time for election, they pretend to be loving us. So that is why the chunk of the people are saying that now they are all voting for MPP. Now when we came, we are giving the people roads, community roads. We have started water projects. We are giving, we are giving the people, we are giving the people markets. 
you are giving the pro market a modern market, you are building a hospital, you are completing school projects, we provide school furniture to all the schools in our constituency. We are trying to work on youth unemployment in the various communities in our constituency. What the girl do you want? We are saying that we are saying that Dr. Mahamudu Baumia is number one on the ballot. The first time, the first time, the first time sitting vice president is going to win the seat as president. Now, we have drone services all around. My community, you can see them. It means we are so much interested in the health of our people. Akatinov is voting massively for MPP this year. No more NDC. No more NDC. MPP, it is possible. 2024, it is highly possible. Dr. Mahamudu Baumia, it is possible. Thank you. All right. Honorable, go ahead, sir. Go ahead. Ayazu, in the first place, I want to thank TV3 for this initiative, bringing this opportunity to our people. I want to tell the people of Akatinov that NDC has a community manifesto for Akatinov district. Number one is to make sure that the Akachi Dakpa Road is constructed. We will continue from Avevi, eh? we will continue from your village to Samu and Akachi for you. I want to also say that we are going to introduce the 24 hour economy, which will bring jobs to our people. We will make sure that we make sure that we provide jobs for the people, not jobs that will not bring anything to the people, but will bring money into their pockets. I want to assure everybody in this district that we will look at the development projects that are necessary. We will make sure that we reconstruct the whole Denu Road so that our people can get good roads to travel on. We will make sure that whatever is needed, we will provide it. We are going to review the free senior high school and make it better for the people of Ghana. We will make sure that when teachers finish colleges of education, they are posted directly. They don't go and do any national service or they don't write any teacher licensure examination. I can assure you that come January 2025, President John Mahama right. is going to be the President Thank of the you. Republic of Ghana. Thank you. Thank you. Ayazu. Ayazu. I just want to say want to say, he who alleged must prove. MPP don't have anything to prove. As we are speaking now, they cannot even project a single way that is being completed by them. I am telling them, I'm putting this to them, that they have done zero work in Akatinov. They didn't do anything. I want to advise all the people of Akatinov to vote massively for Honorable Peter Lotukotui because he's the light of Akatinov. And the 24 hours economy of NDC is going to carry us to our destination. So, right. <laughs> thank you very much. Avedapa. 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 Akachi Nos. Choboy. Cho boy! Thank you very much, Akachi North. This is where we bring our community manifesto in this very constituency to an end.
Thank you for all your questions, your contributions. Thank you, the leadership of the MPP. Thank you, the leadership of the NDC. Manifesto, community manifesto continues in another constituency in the Volta region. I am Cookie T. Thank you so much. This is your election command center. Thank you.